mullet mania in Muncie. It's a real thing. Um, it's been happening for a long time and it's gonna keep going. You see the list right there of mullet madness. It's certainly a, an image that has been associated with Ball State men's volleyball for a couple of years now. Mullet mania in Muncie. Kind of sounds like a monster jam going on with those big trucks. That could be us on the floor, monster trucks. Flying up in the air with our with our mullets. Help us jump higher also. <laughs> I freaking have no clue. When guys showed up, I, I feel like it was Dyer and Dennis, you know, and, and Will McPhillips. And then it never, I don't know what that's called, where you show up and then you never leave, but the uninvited guests never left and it's still on the heads of half of our team. The best hair in volleyball, I think, is Ball State. I mean, we've heard it on the broadcast. People say that we're the All-American hair team. Um, we've heard that multiple times, which is something really funny and cool to hear because I feel like that, that's a true statement. Not a lot of people have hair like our team does. We got a, we got a lot of variety. Short, but stylish. We got long, but stylish. We got mullets, we got everything. I think it just adds to like how close we are as, as a team. Like we've, we've always been a super tight-knit team throughout the years, but um, I think this just shows that like the camaraderie we have as a team and how close we are, especially like when we're all out there, like if it's me, Bardo, Bucky, we're all out there playing all in the front row and we all have more to, for me, I would be intimidated. Yeah, I think it's a big part of why we're successful is uh, guys feel comfortable even when they got that business in the front party in the back look on their head and um, yeah I, I think it's cool. Could not agree more with you gotta look good and play good and I think we're doing it here. 100% you gotta put a little gel in your hair you don't want to be showing up with that head you gotta slick it back get it going in the back let it flow and if you feel good you play good. I like Will McPhillips hair the most him, him and Dyer they got that they got that clean mullet. They got like a stylist doing that. That's like a, that's like a, that's a Gucci made mullet right there. When watching Ball State, it's almost impossible to ignore the moxie and just utter swagger affixed atop of each of their heads. Cass has been cutting Ball State's hair for the past six months after Dire Ball started the movement. Ever since then, the team has been watching film, keeping her in the loop and getting their hair cut right here in Muncie, Indiana. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get it cleaned up on the sides a little bit, get some off the back, some off the top. Uh, pretty much just make it look good for this weekend. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, for the sides, I'm feeling like it's a little higher this time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I don't know how to do it. Get them straight um, not for me. I'm more protective of your life. I'm not gonna get like it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I have no ice cream today, but. There you go, bud. Thank you. Look good, feel good, play good. I mean, the better you look, I feel like you get out on the court and you, you just have like a little aura around you that makes you perform better. Having five plus mullets <laughs> at the end of the year on the Ball State men's volleyball team, it just shows that um, we don't care what others think and we're here to play our game and have some fun with our mullets.